Today I'm going to talk about stress fractures of your spine, particularly spondylolysis. It's a tough thing to say, but it's even tougher to deal with. Now, when you're going up for a rebound or tennis, you start to put a lot of load on that lumbar spine, sometimes you can develop a stress fracture and they'll call that a spondylolysis. Now, if it gets unstable, the vertebrae are stacked, one will start to slip forward, that's when you get your spondylolisthesis. So here are some exercises we can do to kind of help get the muscles around that area to keep it stable and hopefully keep this from happening to you. First, grab a weighted ball and imagine if you're going up to, for a rebound or serving, you don't want to really be arching that back, so let's work on that. Keep your spine nice and neutral, tuck your tailbone underneath you. This weighted ball, I want you to just try to lift it up and down. Try about 20 to 30 times, and again, you don't want to be sticking your butt out, you don't want to be arching here, you really want to keep this whole lower portion stable. This works the deep muscles of your stomach, as well as the trunk extensors, so it'll help support that area. Next, let's do some sit-ups. You're gonna lie on your back, keep your hips level, keep that back flat, cradle your neck and your head with your hands like this, so you don't wanna be jabbing at that head. And you wanna just lift up and then slowly down, come up and down, just to the point where you're lifting those shoulder blades up. Okay, so cradle that head and come up. Three sets of 10 is a good number. Next and last, stretch these hip flexors. If these guys are tight, they're gonna pull on the front of that lumbar spine and, and actually could add to further slippage if you do have that spondylo present. So go into a kneeling position. Tuck your tailbone underneath you. Your ribs are on top of your pelvis. And I want you to just kind of lean forward until you feel a pull like right here. Again, no arching there. You want to tuck that tailbone underneath you and just kind of slide forward. Okay, and you hold that for about 30 seconds. Now remember, always check with the physician before doing any exercise program. You may be silent, but not for long. I'm Amy McGorry on the Upwave.